This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Whitney Clark. Pima County Sheriff's deputies are looking for this man. They say 72-year-old William Bosmider is a vulnerable adult and went missing Tuesday morning. He was last seen riding a bicycle in Vail wearing a dark Callaway long sleeve sweatshirt with shorts and a backpack. He's about six feet tall, weighs 175 pounds and has brown hair. If you see him or have any information, call 911. Southern Arizona's largest school district will hear from Southwest Key again in January. This comes after TUSD decided to research what it would take to educate the kids held at Southwest Key facilities. The district is asking the migrant shelter to outline the actions they've taken to comply with Arizona Health and Human Services. The shelters nearly lost their licenses earlier this year because not all of their employees had been properly vetted. Happening today, a national group is reigniting efforts to get a statue in downtown Tucson removed. Judicial Watch has requested the statue of Pancho Villa be removed from Viente de Agosto Park on Congress Street. They say the public does not want the statue there. The Arts Foundation for Tucson and Southern Arizona are scheduled to meet today to talk about the future of the statue. Previous attempts to have it torn down have failed. Now for a look outside, let's head over to April. Good morning, April. Good morning to you. Happy Wednesday. Temps are going to be a little bit cooler this morning as we start the day. We're already at 47, but we have less cloud cover and less wind. So that number is certainly going to go down before it starts to go up. We may just barely be warmed to the mid 40s by the time we hit that 8 o'clock hour. So still chilly. Make sure you've got a jacket handy, maybe dress in layers. Still going to be relatively cool by noon with a uh, forecast of just 63 and then topping out at 67. And although that's still a few degrees above average, that's about five degrees cooler than yesterday. So keep in mind, we are seeing that cool down. Coolest day of the week will come in on Thursday, and then we'll get back to the upper 60s for the second half of the week and for the weekend. Whitney? Thank you so much, April. For more news and weather updates all throughout the day, you can go to our website, kg9.com, and follow us on social media.